What's going on you guys? It's me back with another video. Today I wanted to talk about some of the games that I have gotten so far. I started importing some games and I just wanted to show you guys what I've gotten. First, I'm going to start with two games I got for the Dreamcast. And this is uh, El Dorado Gate Volume 2 and then El Dorado Gate Volume 3. This is part of a seven game series, it's an RPG. Um, I haven't really gotten in, into it too much, but I'm probably gonna start playing these maybe this weekend or when I take a vacation in about a week or two. And once I do that, I, I think I'm gonna get more into that. Next, um, I'm gonna talk about some of the Saturn games I got because I picked up a, quite a bit of those. The first game I picked up, Marvel vs. Uh, Marvel Superheroes, I'm sorry. Classic fighting game. I've been playing this since forever. Maybe since high school? Maybe not. Nah, damn, no. Junior high school. So, I really love this game. Pretty pretty good series. Um, next game I picked up for the Saturn is Blue Breaker. This is an RPG. Like an action RPG. It's kind of confusing the way the relationships you have to maintain with the women to do certain stuff and it kind of i don't have the time for this one because it's really engaging so i'm gonna play this when i have a little more free time the next couple games i have the i have the original one and i've been playing through that so i had to get the rest of the series and this is kind of what jumpstart me into importing the first one Langris of Three, you know, is part of War Song, which is the original one that came out for the Sega when you get the rest. So, this is War Song Three. I mean, War Song Three. Langris of Three. Langris of Four. And then Langris of Five. So, like I said before, the first one is War Song, and none of them released in America. So it kind of pissed me off because I'm like, they have so many of these games and we didn't get them. So that's what kind of made me start looking into importing. And then after talking to Sprite and, Bites, Sprite and Bites, my buddy Ryan and a light spiller, I was like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm going to just start importing because like I said, there were so many games that we don't get here or they cost too fucking much. Like Marvel superheroes, the Saturn version, um, the American Saturn version is like 60 bucks. I paid 20 for that. No brainer. And that one doesn't barely have Japanese. You don't need no Japanese to play that, especially fighting games. So that was like a no brainer for me to pick that up in the knees. The next two games that that are imports that I showed, I'm going to show you guys. They're part of a series two. And that's Super Robot Tizen EX. And then Robot Super Robot Wars F. Um, this is part of the Super Robot War series. They've been coming out since 91, so about 24 years. Yeah, 24 years. I'm 26, so yeah. Two, I was two when they started coming out. The original one came out in the Game Boy, and I'm going to get that. I'm going to try to get the whole Super Robot War series. Okay, yeah, you see it's complete. I might have paid eight bucks for this, if that. I paid... Eight bucks for that, so I paid sixteen for both of these. Crazy. But I started playing this. I got this in the middle of Saturday, so that's when I started playing this. And it's, it's pretty neat. And then this one I just got in the mail today, so I haven't got to play it just yet. But best believe tonight I'm gonna drink some energy drinks and I'm about to I'm about to get into it. And the way I play my Super Famicom games, I took, I ripped two tabs out of my Super Nintendo. And that's how I play that. And then, like I said before, the action replay, you know, allows me to play my Saturn games, my import Saturn games. But I'm going to get an import, I'm going to get a Japanese Saturn anyway, because the laser on that one's going. So I might as well. And I've also picked up Buck Rogers, Counting on Doomsday. That's not an import. It's a sci-fi RPG for the Genesis. I told you, this is the year for the year of the Sega for me. So I'm getting this 
many Sega games as I can that I want. Next game, Breath of Fire Dragon's Quartet. I know people say it's bad, it was cheap, I picked it up. And the next game, this guy at three. I've always wanted to get into the series. I never did. I picked up three. I'm, I'm gonna get four, and then my sister has one and two, so I'm gonna play through all these and catch up. But yeah, man, if that's what I got so far, I'm pretty excited for what else I'm gonna get. I have about four or five more games in the mail, man, and I'm just waiting for these bitches to get here. But once I get a little bit more, I'll make an update to some more imports that I've gotten. And I'll be back with another video in about a week or so. Alright man, you guys take it easy. Peace.